Hey, it's Willie Armelini from Flowers and Scents with your industry buzz. Today we're going to interview Juan David Lecuna. He's the commercial director at Delifloor. Delifloor is a Dutch-based chrysanthemum breeder um, like none other. And uh, we're going to talk to Juan David all about it today. So without further ado, Juan David Lecuna. And there is my friend Juan David Lecuna. <laughs> from Deli Floor. You're the commercial director, and uh, I see you're down at the farm there in Medellin. And uh, tell us about the, you know, Deli, tell us about Deli Floor. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for having me, and also thank you for all the things, I mean, all the, this interview, all the things that you're doing through this pandemic, that helps a lot because you, we, we are getting intake from everybody through you. So thank I you. I appreciate that. that. I'm doing my best. I'm I'm swimming as fast as I can. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, what's going on in the breeding world? Well, nothing has changed. We we kept working during the pandemic. Our mother house in Holland kept doing crosses, and we are developing around 30 varieties for this year. I know you will not have time for, to show them all, but uh, like a couple we can we can show. Perfect. Um, and so Deli Flor is, is again, uh, Netherlands based, right? Uh, and they're breeding so, there in, in Medellin, or at least. So, so we're not breeding here in, in, in Rio Negro. All the crosses we're doing are in, in, um, in, in the Netherlands, but we do selections here. So, right. because everything that works there, not always work here. You know, we only work with uh, chrysanthemums. The equa the, the equator, it's the, the, like the best place that you can grow them, um, the chrysanthemums. And this altitude is perfect for that. Every crosses that we do in, in, in Holland, we try here. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But we also bring here seedlings. And these seedlings, there's a lot of varieties there. And uh, they don't look good on the bed. But then if you take a closer look, you can find one or two things. So between 600,000 and 1 million crosses, we get one commercial variety. So it's, it's, it's hard, uh, but uh, when you get the variety that you need and the perfection that you need, it's a big success. Well, that's how we I, do it. I was saying that, you know, um, I, I liken the uh, breeding business to like the music business. You know, everybody tries to write new songs, but uh, there really is no new song. It's just a little interpretation of the same song or, a little chord change. So you're making very subtle differences uh, to produce a, a product that you can commercially sell. Uh, and they're quite interesting. And it's interesting also that you're only doing chrysanthemums. Yeah, well, the thing is when we're doing crosses is as you say, it's like uh, music. It's same chords, but uh, put them in different order. But now we're doing more technically. Uh, right now we're using something that is called uh, molecular markers. So if we need the variety to be like tints perfectly. So we take a variety that tints perfectly, such as bearing. Right now it's a best tinting uh, daisy, white daisy on the on the market. So you take that variety and you know that's the that from zero to five, that tints five. So you take that molecular marker and then you can add it to another variety. It's not GMO or Monsanto. It's just what the bees do. I always say say this: uh, as we do the work that uh, that uh, bees do, but on a more like technical way. So you're very high tech bees. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is always that I always say too that uh, I know the queen of flowers is the rose, but uh, I think you can do more with a chrysanthemum because because with one chrysanthemum you can have like this shape, daisy shape, cushion shape any given uh, number of, of novelties. And uh, with the queen, you can only have like, like one rose from, from one stem or many roses from one stem and, dif and different colors. I'm not talking uh, that uh, this should be the, the, the queen. I'm, I'm just saying that it's more versatile. So it, it gives us like different shapes, textures, looks, it has it all. That's, that's why uh, the chrysanthemum is not like, okay, we only breathe chrysanthemums. It's wide, it's very big. And um, some other breeders that not only have chrysanthemums, but other things, I think 
they need more time just to concentrate on on chrysanthemums because it's so so wide. Oh, so yeah, right. for us it's, it's only it's better to concentrate on 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 only chrysanthemums. But our mother house in 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 Holland, they also do pot plants. Well, I have to tell you that you know obviously, uh, um, thank you. You sent me a bunch of flowers that are behind me here and. Yeah, I have to tell you, we were sitting here in the in the room the other night, and the, the, the light was just sort of dim. And I looked at the arrangement, and I said, "You know what? It looks like a bunch of roses. <laughs> they look like roses, and can say that the shapes were interesting. The cut, you know, there wasn't enough light to really determine what they were. But uh, and I said, you know what? These are they look better than roses for one thing uh, in some cases because the shapes are so cool. And uh, this one back here that you pulled out here, I love these." Butterballs. I call them butterballs. I don't know what you call them, but anyway, they look like a butterball. Well, we've been we've been going back and forth trying to get the name for the for the series. So we start calling them the spheres. So it's a it's a sphere. Okay. So the, I'm voting. The, the, I'm voting for butterball. By the way. Yeah. When we call them uh, spheres, nobody called them that. So. Uh, our friend Lisa uh, from well the the flower CEO she called them volias. Volia. So because, yeah, so they're kind of a, like a, a, it's a vol, but it, it looks like a dahlia, only like it, it lasts like ten times what a dahlia lasts on the on the vase. No, they're beautiful. So, I uh, of all the ones you sent me, those uh, really stuck out, and and my friends here, my wife, and everybody's like, oh, we like those. And the color yeah. selection, look at that color selection. That's really awesome. Well, we, we have 14 colors right now. And uh, as, as I was telling you that nobody knows how they call the, the, the series. Some other people call them mom balls. Uh, I just call them, I just say that Delhi Floor has balls. I like it. Um, yeah. they, uh, and also the, uh, the larger cushions, I don't know if we can I'll pull one out here making a mess here these big suckers look at that yeah yeah, yeah and they they keep opening this is uh, the stage of, of cut it's uh early but they keep opening on the on the vase yeah. this particular variety that is called impress it's uh it was huge last year because the vintage color is kind of a trendy color right now and uh we're among the ones that I sent you on the spray ones, I sent you uh, salmon colors and orange colors that are like like old colors. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, no, they're, and, uh, they're beautiful. And, and we did notice that they open. You know, we were my friends were saying, look, it, it's more. You know, they sucked up a lot of water, and now look at them. They're they're growing. You know, sort of. Actually, that's what what we're aiming because of the trend of the vintage colors, all the things we are trying to get more and more colors like that one, even though we know that the trends are not lasting more than one or two seasons, but uh, we have to be on the top of, of things. We have the, the manpower and the technology to keep working depending on the trend uh, or the Pantone of that year. Yeah, well, I, I, again, obviously being in the trend business is a, a challenging thing because it's a moving target. And you have to try to keep up. Uh, and like you say, you might have a, a thousand seeds or uh, codes that maybe you get one or two out of that that you can yeah. actually produce. And that's actually uh, one from one million. From oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's a huge investment and, and risk that uh, a breeder is willing to take because you have a, you know, you're not so sure of the outcome. So from from the seedlings to a commercial variety. So from the seeds that we see there before selection to this it's about from three to five years and between 400 to 1 million dollars each variety we spend on on, on everyone True. yeah and, and 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 none of them are commercial because we have to test this is try and error i also we also work on the white yellow green red and and white uh, colors because those are the volume uh, but we we just don't stop there. We we want to have everything. And right now we got on this bottle. We have all the colors. We ninety five percent. And um, on a spray we are we are around forty. But we have all the colors on daisy cushion novelty, as well as uh, this bot this bot cushion, this bot daisy, and this bot novelty. And I like uh, pick up those spheres again uh, that you had. Uh, 
pick up the color ones again. Okay. Because here's what so, I but, like. But I got, let me let me get, get more. You got more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making you work now. Look at that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Today's our, our Christmas party. So Oh, your Christmas so party. So everybody's having fun. All right, look at those. No, 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 it, it, it will be. You see? That's magnificent. And what I like the most about those is they're not painted or dyed or anything. They are natural colors that you created. And I just cannot get my arms around, you know, dyed flowers. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think they look cool. I know that they're trendy sometimes and you can predict the color a little better. Or, But to see those colors in a natural state uh, is just because I don't, yeah, I hate when you put the, you know, in the water and the water turns the color and of the, yeah. the dye and man, those are beautiful. I think just like you, I'm not supposed to say this because <laughs> a huge part of our, of our, of our revenue is with, uh, with, with uh, bearing this variety that I told you that tends perfectly, but uh, yeah, if it's natural, I like it better. And uh, you know, big uh, supermarket change are, well, at least one or two are starting to change that. They don't want that because it can make, uh, well, it gets messy, you it's, know that. Yeah, you got the dye running everywhere in the buckets and on the floor and everything. So, <laughs> your hands and so I'm, yeah. I'm impressed for sure that, uh, that, you know, your color selection there and, and variety is just, just off the charts. It's beautiful. The, yeah, uh, well, the foliage looks nice and, uh, and healthy. Yeah, and well, I've always found that to be the the weak point in in, uh, in in chrysanthemums. I've always found to be the foliage is often will die a lot faster than the flowers in the bloom. Yes, and it's something that all the breeders have problems with because first of all, you have to concentrate on the on the flower. Right. But uh, what we're doing right now, we got one one uh, agronomist engineer just concentrated on that foliage because. Flowers are really beautiful, and we have varieties that uh, last 45 days, like Magnum. That really? varieties are, are very, very well known, 45 days or two months right next. I mean, in the farm, on the base, it's two months. People don't, don't get it out just, just because it, it, it dies. People get it out because they're tired of what, or, or seeing the same thing. Too. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, those, those varieties that, uh, that we think are like, our bread and butter. I mean, we, we think it's our bread and butter just because it changes the looks of, of everything. But uh, but we also have like the Anastasias and, and, and all the daisies and all the varieties that, that have made us what we are right now. I think Alma is your uh, is your favorite, huh? or at least your most popular. Yeah, well, actually, I, I, I didn't want to talk about Alma because I have spent like three years talking about Alma. And, and you know, my name is Juan David in Spanish. People start calling me Juan Dalma. So, <laughs> so I still that, but, but yeah, it's uh, it's the variety that we're more more most proud of because for the first time in 134 years in uh, the SAF Outstanding Varieties Competition, one chrysanthemum won, and that was Alma three years ago. Right. So exactly. so yeah, it was. It, it, it was it was beautiful and and uh, all the, the green center it's a, it's a daisy as you know and uh, we were very proud of, of this and and all the advertising that we do for this for for Alma we're gonna start doing it for another for another variety but I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> well, but uh, when you do get it ready, send me a new banner so we can update your banner with the new uh, flower variety. Um, exactly. Actually, actually, I, I, I was thinking about doing that uh, starting next year. Okay, well, we're close to next year, so uh, pretty much yeah. <laughs> we, don't have to wait to, we don't have to wait very long. So the process, for those who perhaps don't know, the process is the breeder, like yourself, you breed the, uh, the new varieties, you create a new variety, you decide it's commercially available or viable, then you obviously hope to sell it to your growers, your customers, who then so would... This is, yeah, yeah, so this is, this is what we do, and uh, we do it differently okay when when i started in deli floor and uh, I, I was supposed to sell our varieties to the growers but then i do you do you know this um songwriter and singer uh, juanes from medellin colombia 
Juanes, of course. Of course. So, you know, Juanes had this this um, band that was called Echimosis when he was when he when he was a kid, and he tried and tried and tried like twenty years, and he was big in our city, but it was Juanes. He was the the guy next door, but he wasn't big. Right. So so he decided to change, stop being the the head guitar and 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 lead lead guitar and lead voice of Echimosis, and started as Juanes. I started in LA, United States. Nobody knew he was doing that in Colombia. So we heard him in Colombia as a rebound. So when uh -huh. he was big in the United States, he started to be big in, in Colombia. So I'm so I said, like, let's do this with the with with our varieties. Don't show the varieties to the agronomist or the or, or the commercial uh -huh. people. Let's go to let's go to the United States. Let, let's show them to their customers. The customers of our customers. The customers so of your were, customers, exactly. Exactly, because sometimes uh, the comfort zone of the farm don't let them see more than what they are supposed to. Because if they are working with this variety and this variety is working good for them, they're just so they're gonna they stay with, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to learn how to grow another variety because every variety is like a, a child. Or um, every everything has to different fertilizers uh different water or different well you know so so when the customer of our customer ask our customer hey i need this variety and they're like what i just <laughs> saw this variety so <clears throat> so i'm the link between the grower and the uh, importer or the supermarket we're getting at, at all the ends I like it. So it's basically your direct marketing. You're doing you're doing with what many companies, uh, Tesla, for instance. You know, they went right to the yes. people. They yep. didn't go through dealers. They went right to the people, and, and they want their car. So, yeah, if a retailer says, "Hey, I love that variety they saw on Flowers and Scents, or I saw somewhere," uh, get it. And now the uh, the import wholesalers got to find who's got it. The, the, yep. the growers got to you know. Call be calling you up saying, "Hey, I need to buy that variety because somebody in America saw it and wants to buy it." <laughs> yeah, and you know this is the easiest thing that I do because because when I go to well, when a customer, my customer, the farm flowers, goes to a customer and say, "Hey, buy buy flowers from me," they're like, "Oh, this is this guy is gonna start asking me." But I don't sell to him, so right. they always receive me with with open arms. So, of course, but because I'm not gonna sell anything to them. I'm just gonna show them what's in the market. That's what I told the, the supermarkets. Go to the breeders, find out what's available, and then make your farms grow for the. They will grow it, yeah. If they if yeah. if the supermarket says I want that variety, you can bet they're gonna be calling you up. And uh, okay, Mister, what do you, what do you have behind you there? You have this little blue box back there. What's going oh, on with this thing? Well, like so this variety that uh, is very well known, Magnum. I don't have it right here. So we did a beer. So we partnered up with this uh, brewery that is called Torre Alta. You see, Torre Alta, we partnered up with them. And we did this beer that is called Magnum. Yes, I like it. I like it and I happen to like beer. So I look forward to my present there. Um, so Juan David, my friend here, uh, JD, as you're better known, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Uh, so good to see you again. Uh, you know, you and I, uh, like many of my interviewees, uh, are, are people that we've traveled with and hung out with and go, uh, went to shows with and worked hard and set up booths and all that stuff and broke down booths and dealt with crazy situations okay. in many cities around the, the world. I like to call them my, you know, my troopers, my convention troopers, because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> a lot of work. Uh, and, and yeah, I look forward to see everybody, all our friends, and and look forward to to hear you with your harmonica. <laughs> well, uh, you will hear it in the in the intro to your interview. So uh, thank you, my friend. I we we learned a lot about Delhi Floor. Again, I love those colors uh, and those natural colors. Keep doing it. And uh, we will talk to you uh, in person, I hope, soon. So you have a great day, and thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And it's an honor, as I told you. And uh, if you need me, you can use me. <laughs> OK, my friend. You have a nice day, and uh, Merry Christmas, and uh, have a beer for me.